is there in the camp ahead. Hello everybody, it's BTRJJ with Born Rain Game. We're getting back into some more of Assassin's Creed Valhalla. They're teaching me how to... They're teaching me how to kill. Stealthily. But I can just... What were you thinking? Drinking me. I can just cheat and sneak in. You utter shit! Take up your weapon and follow me beyond these walls. Let Odin's favor land where it may. You dare not break the king's peace here. So fuck you and your god talk. What say you to that? That's what I say. <laughs> you can beat me, but you will not kill me. Not under Harald's truce. Um. Really? You are all subject to King Harald's truce. Break his peace and you will be cast out of Alrikstad. I will give you no trouble. You were shat into this world without honor, Gorm. And you will leave as a t turd dumped into hell's deepest ditch. Keep crowing, Eivor. You only make yourself an easier target. They stepped in. The old thing will have started. I should find Sigurd. Should have just killed him. Said fuck the treaty. me to say he does thank you his day will come oh gods i hate long speeches only when you're not giving them many of you knew my father halfdan the black a great man who achieved great things they buried halfdan's leg near our temple the crops have never grown tall <laughs> they buried his arse near ours and we get nothing but a muddy river! I dream of something greater. A vast kingdom of warriors in numbers the world has never seen. United under one king, one rule. Too much blood has been spilled fighting one another. Today, we unify. And turn our blades outward to conquer new lands. And who better to lead us to glory than me? I was blotted before the age of ten, and I led the greatest army Norway has ever seen. But they say a wise king seeks honest counsel, so I ask, who among you rejects this new arrangement? I am not your enemy, King Harald, but I will not be your subject. Tomorrow we sail for greener shores, and so my kingdom is yours. This saddens me, noble girl. And does your wife agree? Is she not tired of limping ever westward? My husband and I are as one in this lord. We do not limp together. We fly. I'm sad to lose a woman of your spirit, Yuvina. But I hold no grudge. May the fates grant you good luck. My king! I offer you my axe and my oath, ironclad. Gorm Kjotveson, you dare show your face in this hall. Did not King Styrbjorn and his son Sigurd rid our lands of your foulness? The 
Raven Clan dishonored me, Great King. They poisoned my father, Kjortvig. They made a mockery of his honorable death. Bakrout, you lie! Hold, Eivor. Let it play out. This is a serious charge, Gorm, and a false one at that. My uncle saw your father die. Eivor Wolfkist, you are Kjortvig's slayer. This man has slandered your clan. What shall I do with him? Let me kill that motherfucker. I would send him to hell as I did his father. Understandable. But a quick death is too good for a Draugr like him. Gorm, I name you Worm and call you Exile. Leave these lands by the next full moon or I will feed you to the crows myself. King okay. Harold, may I speak? The floor is yours, King Stebjörn. My people have held our land since the days when Odin himself walked among us. My kingdom is humble, but we have paid for it in blood. Our victory over Kjotve is proof that we will not lay down without a fight. All here have buried friends, brothers and sisters, sons and daughters. And I, for one, have had my fill of death. Let those who seek war look beyond our shores. If King Harold brings peace, then I am happy to bend my knee to him. What? What in hell's name are you doing, father? Securing a lasting peace, Sigurd. Our days of fighting are finished. You said nothing of this to me, not a word, and I will not yield a title that should be mine by right. Then war will continue. Men will die, villages will burn, you foolish boy. This is our mm. only way towards true peace. You will die a thrall, you'll drink adult cow, alone and toothless in a bed of straw. Damn. Forgive my son. He is ruled by his emotions. I take no offense, Stebjorn Jarl, and I thank you for your fealty. It is natural to fear change, to resist it. But all things change and all things end. The lessons of Ragnarok are clear. We will speak again soon. I was ambush, Lord. Did you know of Stupion's plans? For some days, yes, I did. But it was not at my urging. It was his decision alone. Do you dream of a glorious future, Eivor? A warrior like you would be a boon to my clan. I dream of a glorious death. But not at the cost of betraying my family. You intrigue me, Wolfkist. Orphan and sibling, warrior and poet. You are many in one, it seems. You know much about me. I have eyes and ears everywhere, as any effective king must. Would you not be one of my ravens? I'm bound to Sigurd, and he to me. But if fate should cross our threats again... I understand. Yet should your fortunes change, you are welcome in my hall. But let us leave these matters for another time. Tonight, we will eat and drink like gods and wake in a kingdom made new. No, I'm just gonna move on to the next part of the story. Now where do I gotta go? Aid me. Be my eyes. Okay, so I'll find and speak to Sigurd.
wish to have words, come closer. The fuck? Hey. You look like you know a thing or two about dice. Why does it do that? Why does it make my thing disappear of where I where the guy's at? Inside there, I assume, right? It's Eivor. Open the door. Come in. But keep your voice down. We'll alert Harald's men. Where will we live? The English will fight back. Two days ago, we rid this land of Kjotve and his dogs. Yet today, we do not celebrate. Today we cower under a cloud of fear. But it need not be like this. We are not the heel-trodden subjects of a boy king. We are the Raven Clan. Our destiny is our own. Did you know about your father's oath to Harold? I did not. And for that, my anger burns hotter than any man's here. But I will not let that drive me into despair. We cannot stay in Norway. Not under Harold's boot. Not without fueling more war. So we push forward. To newer lands. To England. And there make a new home. A kingdom of our own. The sons of Ragnar Lothbrok have been in England eight winters already. Is there any land left for a clan of our size? More than enough, wife. Of the four kingdoms of England, only one is truly pacified. I have no desire to wear Harald's leash. I like this idea. A saga for the ages, I agree. It will take time and resources to build ourselves a new home. But the riches taken from Kjotve's raid would suffice. No. That belongs to my father, as a fair compensation. In England, we must start anew. You would start us with nothing? In a land we do not know? Among people who hate us? Kjotve's riches would go some way to easing our passage, Sigurd. I bested him. It is within my rights to claim his goods. Our leaving must not be an assault on my father. It is a time of renewal for us. If we go, we will need all the help we can get. I say we take Kjotve's spoils for our own. I abhor such theft, but if this is what it takes to sway you to my cause, I accept. Styrbjorn will prosper by the generosity of his new king. Kjotve's goods belong to us. To England, then, before the day is out. Pack what you need, but no more than that. And tighten your lips. The last thing we need is the attention of Harald's troops. I gotta go steal some shit. Who the hell? Oh, that's a chick, huh? How much did you hear? Enough. A new path is revealed, and your journey will be challenging. Will you not join us? For my mother's sake, I cannot. But our threats will cross again before the final day. Until then, farewell. That. Soldiers watch me. I find it flattering. You think one will marry you and carry you off to the capital? A 
Favor, the wind favors us. We should set sail without delay. You made quick work of packing. Well done. The dream of new lands is a powerful lure. As is the promise of glory. Okay, let's go. The act of leaving so beloved a home. There is a sadness to it. Having doubts? No, not at all. The die is cast. Then let fate guide our journey. Are you ready? Yep, I'm ready. Go. Let us tank to the water and leave unbothered while we have the chance. That chance has passed. Look! Fate flies on swifter wings than we. King Harold's banner. Okay, what the hell's going on? Sigurd, what is this assembly? What are you planning? An exit, father. As graceful as I can. For if I cannot be king in the land of my birth, I will start a new saga in England. Nonsense. Your place is here, son, at my side. There will be other victories soon, other glories. My choice is made, father. Do not hope otherwise. There's nothing for me here. I must go make my name in the world. What's he gonna do? And you have plundered Fornberg's resources, I see. You leave nothing behind but your honor. You left me no choice. I entered the Alving a prince. I left the son of a Jarl. There are always choices, Sigurd. I will not stand between you and yours, but I do not accept it. Okay, bye. Seventeen winters ago, I opened my door to you, Eivor. And now, your only thanks is to rob me. I should have left you to the wolves. Fuck you. Sad old elk. Do not carry his words with you to England. He brought this day upon himself. I know. Do I actually get a sail? What's our course? The sons of Ragnar established Sigurd! a settlement near the coast. We set sail to them. Draghi, sing a song to lift our room. To rouse the gods! Inspire a mighty fart from Thor to speed us on our way! Where do I gotta go? An ocean lies before us, Eivor. And on its far side, a new kingdom awaits. You know England well from your troubles. I spent a season in the Okay, yep, I'm not person. sailing at all. Temperate land, lush and wild. By now, the sons of Ragnar will have claimed its heart. Do we mean to join their army? They're I need to go to the options menu. Sound. Um, music volume, music all the way down. I had to deal with the copyright issue last video. We'll join ours. In time, all of England will know of Raven Clan. And the glory we brought to that fractured land. So to England! Glory and destiny! To England! To England! For Valhalla! <laughs> Here we go. chick again coming out the animus I guess right yep that's what I thought oh she's getting headaches she's gonna smoke really um, you're looking at the bar in the window
What's she looking at? Um, a gift? Really put iPods in her ear. Yep. In a lecture at the University of Cambridge, Dr. Sierka told a worried audience that scientists have few answers for them. Since the mass coronal ejection of 2012, the strength of the Earth's magnetic field has increased by a factor of 50,000. This has resulted in huge disturbances in radio and satellite communications, dangerous bands of radiation around the poles. And as we can all see from our window, an aurora borealis that never burns away. Unfortunately, we are stumped as to why this is happening. And if we cannot find an answer soon, it may change the way we live, the way we communicate, even the way we evolve forever. Dr. Sierka went on to say, Bought you more electrolytes. Oh, new and improved citrus flavor. Thanks, Sean. Uh She was from Origins. What the hell was that? How do we fix this? How are you the key to everything? You're a long way from home, Eivor. Hmm. Okay, so we're going to end this video right here. Um, I hope you all enjoyed it. Make sure you all hit that subscribe. And hit that like button and turn on that uh, post notification bell for me. Appreciate y'all. Thank you. See y'all in the next video.